Hey everybody, so um, the three code camp tutorial series that I went over ha seemed to do pretty well so I wanted to do it for another project which I really like for learning to code that's called the Odin project so this is going to be the introductory video for the Odin project and I plan to make a video about each of these I'd like to go all the way from foundations and then into full stack Ruby on Rails and then finally full stack JavaScript and it is a growing project, so it's likely that they will actually um, put something else out in the future. So, but for now, let's just explore the foundations. Now, the Odin project is a lot more different than Free Code Camp, whereas Free Code Camp is kind of a bunch of small little tasks. The Odin project is much more focused on having a deep understanding of the fundamentals of web development. So, I think this is going to be an interesting one. These videos will probably be much more long longer and a lot more in-depth but I think that they'll be really useful for those who um, are just starting with um, coding but then also those who have gone through the free code camp so let's get started with how this course will work so this is just the introduction here and so I'm gonna read through this so introduction the Odin project is an open source community dedicated to providing the best information sources to take you from zero to full stack develop more information can be found at the Odin projects about page in this unit, we'll learn about how the web works and start thinking about the basics of computer and web programming. Each of the following sections and lessons represents essential baseline knowledge. Even if you have no intention of becoming a web developer yourself, this material should help you gain a useful understanding of the moving parts involved in creating and serving web content. We will start by getting familiar with the internet and your own computer. Next, we'll work on on setting up a development environment and learning about Git and GitHub. Then we'll go over the basics of front-end technologies like HTML, CSS, and JavaScript before stepping into the back-end with a brief foray that covers the basic concept of back-end technologies. By the end of this unit, you should not only understand how the web works, but also be able to identify the, and differentiate between all the technologies that you will use to build your own web applications. You will be able to build a simple web page, style it, and add minor elements of interactivity while working comfortable, comfortably from the command line. This section intentionally covers a very broad range of topics. It's silly to go diving straight into server-side programming without having a context for what it is and why it's useful and why you should learn it. So how it works. This curriculum works by pulling together the best content from across the internet for learning a particular topic. In each lesson, we'll introduce the topic and try to provide some useful context before pointing you to external resources made by others. Most lessons will contain questions that you should be able to answer before moving on. Some of the lessons will ask you to complete exercises. In addition, we provide several projects throughout the curriculum to help you grow your understanding by actually building things. Try not to think of the Odin project or programming as a class in school. It's not material you learn all at once to take a test and then pass or fail. You can think of it as a snowball. You yourself are a snowball. You're rolling down a hill full of snow, and the further you roll, the more snow, the more snow will stick to you. Sure, snow will fall off of you, and you'll forget things often, but that's just part of the process. Don't be scared if you get to a project and you feel like you haven't retained or memorized anything. That's natural and happens to everyone. The information will come back to you as you start solving your problems one at a time, relying on Google, the Odin pro community, for help. A note about language. The Odin Project attracts people from all over the world who aspire to learn how to become developers. Please be aware that this curriculum is written in English and maintained by English speakers who are not able or, or expected to translate it for you. As you develop into a programmer, you will find that the world you are entering into is firmly rooted in the English language. This means that the syntax of your programming language, the documentation that teaches you how to use it, and the majority of people in the community are all expecting to communicate with you in English. If you are a non-English speaker or English is not a primary language for you, this fact is not meant to discourage you but to prepare you. As another part of the preparation, we highly recommend spending extra time on topics and terms that you do not understand right away. We also encourage you to seek out additional resources that teach about these topics in your own native language so you can understand them more fully. In addition to this, you might also consider using a translation dictionary in your own language alongside our curriculum so you can readily reference it as you go. We do not have 
any recommendations on these since they are such a wide variety of languages spoken throughout the world. Finding one may perhaps be a good step in learning how to find useful tools online by searching. This is a skill you will utilize and improve as you progress in your learning to be a developer. Uh, what comes next? <clears throat> Once you've completed this course, you should feel comfortable with the building blocks of web programming by itch itching to go dig deeper. Though we spend a fair bit of time digging into each of the major topics in this course, it's really just a taste of what com comes next and all the cool stuff you can do with it. The last lesson of this course will give you an opportunity to choose between full stack JavaScript and full, full stack Rails path, both of which are designed to take the foundation built in this course and build it into an applied understanding of the material. Each path will focus on taking these raw building blocks and honing them into a highly functional skill set. The Odin Project is maintained by professionals. We have chosen some of the best resources available and curated a guide on how to go through them. If there are no good resources, we write our own. With that said, know that everything in the curriculum is intentionally included and vital for you to become a successful program. As you move forward in this curriculum, each portion is built on everything that came before it, so skipping things will create pockets of non-understanding in your knowledge and start to affect your ability to solve problems and understand the task at hand. Additionally, resources are the only thing that is considered optional unless explicitly stated. These are here in case you feel like you need or want to dive deeper into the topic to get a better understanding. Do not skip anything. Additional resources. This section contains helpful links uh, to related content. It isn't required, so consider it supplemental. So this one doesn't have any additional resources. Um, great. So yeah, this is an introduction. I think that the main thing here <clears throat> that they're saying is that it takes a long time to learn this stuff and that the this is a it's a valuable effort to go through this um, it's going to take a while and you learn slowly but as you learn more and more more and more starts to stick to you so I really like that uh, snowball analogy so that seems like a great deal we've got the introduction done um, I'm gonna just come over to here and switch it over to dark mode because I want to go through this in dark mode just because I like reading in dark mode and we're gonna log in Cool, so it shows that you can use GitHub here, so I'll start, sign in with GitHub, and I'll authorize it for to read my email from there. And so now I should be tracking my progress. So I've come down here, and I say, mark complete, and we'll go to the next lesson. Okay, so this is the introduction into web development, and we'll get started in this one in the next video. Thanks for watching.